We're developing a design that I did about 25 years ago. Essentially, at first blush, it's just a talon without, uh, you know, landing gear. Welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. I'm Brian, and today we're in Jasper, Georgia at Revel Aero, Revelation Aerospace, checking out one of their prototypes for a single-seat, all-composite aircraft. Coming up next. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Wix Aircraft Supply, Aviation Youth Publication, and Aero Adventure Amphibious Seaplanes. I'm here with Jeff Curlow of Revel Aero, and he's one of the on he's one of the owners of the company. And Jeff, if you could just tell us briefly, I understand you've got several different models that you are prototyping, and just tell us a little about each of those models. All right. Yes, Brian. We're we're developing a design that I did about 25 years ago. Uh, finally getting around to building it. And in this case, we've, uh, as you mentioned, turned it into three unique, if you will, different models in terms of its performance and, and capability and uh, price point. But uh, the base design has generated uh, the Talon model, Striker model, and Voodoo model uh, with uh, power plants ranging from as small as a 60 horse two cylinder piston prop powered version all the way up through in limited numbers a twin turbine air show oriented airframe uh, variant of the Voodoo. Um, be a fast build format uh, ideally people should be able to build the airframe to where it's sitting on its feet looking like an airplane getting you all excited to throw the rest of the stuff in it in probably a three month period so it's uh, very highly prefabricated, all molded, all bonded uh, joint, shall we say, construction. So there's no mixing resin, cutting glass, fiberglass or carbon tapes and, and tacking things in place with five minute epoxy. It's, it's a very straightforward, well thought out program. So this is meant to be a kit and moving forward, will essentially every one of them be uh, more of like a quick build kit that will be the only option is a quick build? Most definitely at this point. That's the way my partner John and I feel. Uh, well, th this obviously is all composite, So, and there's different processes out there. So what process is used in this kit, this design, whether um, in, in the materials? It's fiberglass, carbon fiber, infused. H how are you going about creating it? It's, uh, again, depending on the model, and, and their only differentiation uh, lies within the Talon version being primarily fiberglass, but uh, either fiberglass with a little use of carbon for critical structural components, in, as in the case of the Talon, or all carbon fiber, as in the case of the Striker and the Voodoo. Uh, Process-wise, generally speaking, it's open mold, wet layup, vacuum bag construction with uh, post curing, some potential in mold curing on certain, again, uh, critical structural components like spars, etc. You have a very active uh, Facebook page showing you're like almost daily you're pulling parts off this thing, which is amazing. Uh, what are you guys forecasting for having an actual flying um, aircraft? The We're going to push hard to go th get through the uh, test flight phase this fall. So we'll be you know, showing some, some goods at Oshkosh and then coming back and really pushing hard to be able to have a test flight program active uh, in the fall. Okay, so I'm talking with John Harvey now, who's also one of the owners here at Revelero, um, who's done a lot of the, the engineering side. So, John, if you could tell us a little bit about some of the details of the engineering that went into to building these three different models you have. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, details, details. 
So, uh, yeah, like we said, it's the Voodoo series. It's three airframes that Jeff talked about earlier, the Talon, the Striker, and the Voodoo. The Talon is primarily uh, an E-glass airframe, keep the cost and the weight down, lower horsepower, uh, fixed gear, uh, still very sporty, capable of, uh, you know, up to 200 miles an hour, 60 to 100 horse range, uh, stressed aerobatic. Um, Striker. That moves up to a carbon airframe with retractable gear uh, styled after an F-18 uh, Navy style trailing link uh, suspension, uh, dual bogey front uh, gear. It's a free fall system under gravity with spring assist, uh, hydraulic, retract, uh, sequenced gear doors uh, to reduce drag during uh, the gear extension. Uh, the engines range from an HKS at uh, 60 horsepower for the Talon up to um, 100 horsepower, like I said earlier. Uh, we are planning an option for folks that are sitting on a used 912 uh, gathering dust in a you know weed hopper or something like that that's not being used that could be put on the back of a Talon or even a Striker. So that answers uh, the power plant option for a lot of people uh, right there. Uh, so after the Striker, we move up to the uh, Voodoo airframe, which is the premier airframe. It's either a single or a twin uh, turbine engine uh, powered. So you're talking uh, speed ranges of 300 plus, 400 plus miles an hour. Um, wow. It's the kind of aircraft where you've got to have the time, you've got to have the ratings, and it's uh, on a per order basis, and it's kind of a very exclusive club, let's put it this way, for the, the twin engine Voodoo. From a plan form, uneducated view, yeah, it looks like a, a long easy, but that's about where the similarity ends. Uh, I mean, this is not your grandpa's canard, we like to say. Okay, everything's pre-molded, uh, beautiful, there's no straight lines on the aircraft whatsoever, uh, it uses the latest airfoils. It does uh, have a great quality, unlike a conventional laid out airplane, is that it is stall proof. Uh, so yeah, back here we've got the uh, engine mount we just designed and fabricated the other day for the demotor installation for the demo at Oshkosh, uh, which is coming up next week. Um, up here we've got the uh, customized electric jack screw uh, that's going in the canopy to actuate that at the show this year. Cool. Mounts to the firewall. Uh, let's see, we just are in the middle of getting all the components done for the cockpit. So Which, by the, by the way, to me looks like almost carbon copy, excuse the pun, of a, <laughs> a, a Formula One race car. Oh, it's, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, it's probably a little more comfortable than a Formula One car because you don't have your, your ankles at your shoulder height. <laughs> Everywhere from here above is all storage, hmm. dry storage. Nice and fuel then, tank. Yeah, fuel tank is, is down hmm. here. Hmm. So you've got a... Uh, Obviously, the Rutan designs have their own speed brake or air brake design, and you come up with your own. Well, yeah, on the uh, the jets um, requires. Well, the idea is to not have any um, pitch change with the speed brake application. So what you see here is actually the uh, aluminum substructure that gets bonded to the actual door. So the whole door is down here between the uh, engines, and they both do that so you're creating um, symmetrical. yeah symmetrical uh, drag centers of pressure about the center of gravity so when the speed brakes deploy you don't get any pitch changes in the, uh, the aircraft. On the propeller versions you will have right here is where the verticals are mounted like this okay mm -hmm. the wings out here you've got this much aileron so this portion here and here will be split flaps like the split ailerons on an A10 that become air brakes they're just dedicated air brakes acceleration rate is going to be like three G's from a standing start so you mash the throttles you're going to be put back in your seat at about three G's and in a few hundred feet you're going to be airborne with this? What's yeah. That? So they have with this. on them? No, 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 no. no this is just the 700 it's pounds of thrust, thrust versus a wow. 1100 pound gross weight. Okay. So you do the math, that's like three G's of acceleration. And then when you rotate, you're looking at 7,000 plus feet per minute initial climb. One of the unique things about our company is we don't farm anything out, really. I mean, we build everything in-house, all the metallic uh, CNC bits to the all the composite components. Uh, the only thing we farm out right now are canopies, 
and uh, we buy engines. So that's the only thing we don't do in-house. Everything else is developed in-house, tooled in-house, manufactured in-house. Applications, and then they came out with a, a UAV version of I don't know what it, the Xenos. I think. I just I just happened. had to pick it up. I mean, I could <laughs> could not see this here and, and not pick this thing up. Mm -hmm. But this is empty, Un unfortunately. This is empty. <laughs> Going to AirVenture this year, Oshkosh 19. Yeah. Uh, where will you be located and what, uh, where can we find you there? So we're co-located with uh, D-Motor, which is our main piston engine supplier that we're designing around at the moment. Um, yeah, come look us up. We're going to have uh, the uh, demo airframe there, less the flying surfaces. We're going to have a cycling uh, canopy. Uh, for those that are so inclined, we'll be able to test fit them inside the airframe so they can get a feel of the ergonomics of it. Hey guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed interviewing both Jeff and John. And a quick shout out to both Jeff and John for taking the time to give us a tour of their, their shop and sharing just a little bit about what they're doing behind the scenes there. And really looking forward to seeing those guys at Oshkosh. Remember, they're going to be sharing the D Motor booth this year, so check them out there. If you want to follow along on their progress, remember to check out revelarrow.com or look them up on Facebook uh, under X Projects. So check them out there. Uh, just something really quick uh, Wix Aircraft Supply sent me yet another tool, and I think this one is really cool. Uh, it's called the Cushioned Clamp Installation Pliers, and it's for helping you install Adele clamps for your engine compartment for wiring and whatnot. Uh, again, I, I think it's a really amazing tool. I'll put a link in the description below, but you can find this at Wix Aircraft Supply. And if you haven't already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel right now and help me tell others about this fun thing we do called building aircraft. And uh, hit the like button and hit that little bell notification for future notification of videos. And remember, just build it.